So if you bought an RTX 4090 laptop and the temperatures on the GPU and CPU are in a bit too high and maybe it is also a bit too noisy, this is the right video for you. It is also the right video for you if you just want the laptop to run a bit better or even a bit higher in performance depending on how to set it. So here we are with the RTX 4090 laptop and the Rolting tutorial. Okay, now what we're gonna do is show you how to tweak your graphics card, no matter which laptop you have, okay? So this is gonna work for Asus, Alienware, Razer, literally any laptop out there, this is gonna work. And we're gonna use MSI Afterburner and Heaven Benchmark. Now, both of them will be linked down below in the description. So download them and let's get started. But before we do that, promise me one thing, okay? So if the video in the end ends up being helpful, you will drop a like and a sub to support the channel. I am slowly trying to cover every single piece of hardware on the market and show you guys how to tune it better than out of the box. Your engagement and your likes help a lot. So with that said, let's go straight ahead. Let's get tuning. Okay, so here we are. Now, first thing you need to do is just to go ahead and open up Heaven Benchmark and while it's running, open MSI Afterburner on top of it. Now, at this point, we can start the actual tweaking itself. Now, what you see over here is the frequency the card is running at at the moment. Now, I will tell you how you can tailor this for your specific laptop as well. But first off, let me start with a simple profile which you can copy if you want to retain the initial performance, making it more stable, improving the frame times, 1% lows FPS, while also reducing the temperatures and the noise of this laptop. Again, it doesn't matter which laptop you have. So click on Curve Editor to bring up this curve. Now, what you wanna do is grab the 825 millivolt voltage point right here. Sorry if it's a bit small, but I'm doing this remotely. And now hold Shift and get the point up, all the way up until around the 2100 megahertz point. A bit lower is also fine, okay? Around 2100 megahertz, right there. At this point, you wanna click on the void and holding shift, select all the right part of the curve in this way by dragging to the right and grab all the curve and flatten it down and hit apply. And our curve is already done. So as you can see, we are now running at a bit lower frequency, but absolutely stable. It is not moving from there and we're doing so at a much lower voltage, allowing the laptop to run a lot cooler and a lot quieter. Now, you wanna go ahead and give it just a nice 400 megahertz on the memory. This is not the under volt, this is just to get a bit of extra performance. Hit apply, and then you can save this on your first profile right there, and you're basically done. So if you wanna do just a balanced profile without losing much performance, without gaining much performance, but getting a dramatic decrease in temperature, this is how you do it. You can then start after burn to start with Windows by clicking here, clicking here, clicking here, clicking apply, and clicking okay. And this will let you have the laptop set up properly. Now, in case you want even lower temperatures, here's how you do it. So same procedure, but we do it on the 800 millivolt voltage point. So you grab the 800 millivolt voltage point and you bring it all the way up to around the 2000 megahertz voltage point, okay? So right here. Now you do the same thing. Click on the void, shift, select all the right part of the curve and flatten it. And after doing that, here we are running a bit lower, sure, but even lower in temperature. And now you kind of understood how to do this. Now, of course, you can give it another plus 400 just to be sure. And then you can basically go ahead and uh, you can even select a lower voltage point by testing this out in games and seeing which one is stable. So this is just the procedure to do it. And if you want to copy my settings, my settings are 825 at 2100 or 800 at 2000 megahertz with a nice plus 400 megahertz on the memory clock. And this is basically it. Now, let's say you want to retain the full performance or even get more performance because remember, out of the box, this is a ROG laptop, it boosts all the way up to 2200 megahertz, but it never holds it. It always goes back down to 2100 again. So if you wanted to try 2200, the stock voltage point is at the around 900 millivolt voltage point, okay? So a nice setting to be safe would be 850. So at 850 on average on most 4090 laptops, if you bring it up to 2200, 
right there and then select the left side of the curve in this way and flatten it it will be running just flat out at the frequency you want but you're gonna encounter other issues like running into power limit so not every laptop will be able to do this but i'm telling you just because you have 4090 laptops so i think it's right that you know it and of course give it a nice plus 400 extra memory the memory too you can just test it out and see if you can push it even higher if you want and uh, this is basically it for today this is how you undervolt an rtx 4019 laptop and if the video was helpful again remember your promise drop a like and subscribe to the channel maybe i have many more guides to tweak other stuff and I also do pc builds you may like the channel see you in the next one guys bye